Hi guys, welcome to our first vlog in Australia. This was the longest um, flight ever. Uh, here you see my mom and Hans, they are taking us to the airport. We uh, packed all the luggage at uh, one of those cars, they are amazing. We had some coffee and then we said our bye. Well guys, welcome to the vlog! We passed the check-in, the... Uh, how, how do you say it? Um, security. Security? Yeah. Like really fast. Both of them. 10 minutes? No, yeah. Mm -hmm. Within yeah. 10 minutes. Yes, I would say so. So, this is a uh, first flight. Yeah, we haven't been in the plane for a long time long time a year so hi guys we are very very tired yes indeed we didn't sleep at all the plane so the second fight was uh, much better we did sleep we had like Three hours? Something like that, right? A little bit more. We found out that the flight was cancelled. This procedure in total took us like one and a half hour. So uh, this is uh, our uh, guest house. And as you can see, um, it is a lovely guest house with a very small pool and also a kitchen. So it is a kind of uh, kind of hostel and we booked um, a private room for five nights and after that we are going to the Great Barrier Reef We woke uh, up in the middle of the night, like uh, 3 o'clock and decided to go to the grocery store at 6 o'clock. Um, after that we spent in the grocery store like way too much, one, over $160. Then we headed to the aquarium. Shopping mall. This is for the train. And behind it is the shopping mall. Um, as you know, in uh, Australia, the roads are the other way. So here it says, uh, "Look to the left because the cars come from the left side." It's different than in uh, the Netherlands. So on the other side, right here, it's coming right now. It says. So now there's coming something there, but I don't have to look there. I have to look here. <laughs> it is so weird. And here it says, look to the right. <laughs> That's funny. Hello guys. Welcome to the food court. <laughs> If you've never heard of fish changing sex today, it's going to change your life. When you look at these animals, some fish can go both ways. Yes, both ways. Barry Monday can only go one way. But if I don't have the wet and dry seasons and they can't follow that process, they stay male. They'll never see the bright side and we lose them forever because they can't complete their life cycle. We know as humans, 
die to determine the number of eggs. For Barramundi, each female needs to produce over 35 million eggs a season. And we know that Barramundi this size could not produce even close to that. So it's an advantage for them to be a large female. Stop chasing each other. Oh, jeez. and it means to know exactly what they eat and how much. Oh, look at this, om oh, nom 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 nom. Look at that. Imagine lunchtime at school like that. So if you have a broadcast feed, you can see all the different sizes of food. This is really, really important. See how now Alex has less fish around her because they're all now up concentrating on food. That's really, really important. When you look, the current in the water will blow the food from right to left and it should start blowing all the little bits of food all the way around the tank and it means that everyone should be concentrating on food and it means they shouldn't be eating each other or eating their apparent friends. So that's how you feed a thousand animals in less than 10 minutes. Feel our waters, right? So big step. Just think of it like shark fins like your earlobe. Imagine having a bowl full of your earlobe sitting up. It's the same thing. All right. and then give it 20 minutes and it'll be completely different. It is incredible. You look at these animals and most of us know that lots of sharks and rays are nocturnal. So if I have nothing in the water stimulating them in the afternoon, these guys actually need to have a bit of a snooze. So my sharks and rays that are pelagic, hello darling, Stumpy's the cleverest cat knows them all. When they have to have a sleep, they shut half their brain down and it's called a unihemispherical sleep. They pretty much sleep with one eye open. So they just shut half the brain down and go and then keep swimming and then wake up and shut the other half down. So when you look at them right now, see how alert they are, 20 minutes time, you watch and they'll just be like, Dum. it's really interesting. Here I am showing you my uh, lip bleeding <laughs> it's such an action for me um, I couldn't see the glass clear um, I thought it was more hollow so I went like really fast onto the glass trying to look but my lip and my teeth came um, really hard to the glass so my lips started bleeding a little bit and I was showing you that <laughs> I'm alive, I'm okay, it's all good. <laughs>